So something else I wanted to mention today in class about images is uh, the difference between an image that's uh, a bitmap image and one that's a vector image. So just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, um, this is, uh, it, you know, happens to be text, but it's just an image. You can see it's a JPEG. And if I zoom in on it, you can see that uh, it gets worse and worse as I zoom in. So eventually it's just, we're looking at individual pixels and it starts to look really crappy. So um, here is a PDF, but it doesn't have to be a PDF. It just turns out that text in this PDF is, um, is vector based. And if I zoom in on it, you can see that no matter how far I zoom in, they're still uh, pretty nice looking. So what's happening is in a vector based image, it's actually describing different points and curves. Um, and in a, a bitmapped image, it's more like what we learned with the pixels array. Each uh, pixel of the image is defined. And so what happens is when you zoom in on that, you're going to see those individual pixels get bigger and bigger, whereas uh, you don't see that in a vector based image like this. So the reason why this matters for us with processing is because all the stuff we've been doing so far is with uh, bitmapped images and I wanted you to know that there's a possibility to use um, vector images. So PDF is usually has uh, vector based um, text in it and, and sometimes images. This is another format SVG and you can create these SVG files using Illustrator. So if you're using Adobe stuff usually Photoshop is for bitmapped images and something like Illustrator is used for vector based images. So uh, it says here that this happens to be one of the libraries in processing that was used so frequently by people that they just included it with processing so you don't have to download it anymore. But if you want information about it, it tells you to look up uh, one of these functions. So here's the, um, here is the reference for P-Shape and uh, it shows you basically it's pretty similar to what we've been doing before. Instead of image, it's called shape. This SVG file comes from uh, Illustrator. You can just save as an SVG file. And uh, the difference is now if I had uh, this guy on in an animation and sometimes he appears really large, sometimes he appears really small, uh, by using an SVG file, they'll, it, it'll still look good with, if it's blown up or if, if it's tiny. Um, just like we saw with the text in the PDF. So if you have a case like that, you don't want to use bitmapped images because some of them will look bad, some of them will look uh, better because they're the original size. So uh, Candy is the library. It doesn't matter anymore. You don't need to know that that's the name of the library. But uh, P-Shape is the place where you want to start. So you make a variable of type P-Shape, load a shape into it from a file that's in your sketch folder. And um, I think Smooth helps things out, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. And then you just put it on, on the canvas with the shape function. And that's it.